Twaka, Gu eight five. <laughs> The past 30 years have seen increasing development and urbanization in Mauritius but there are still areas that live in the traditional way. Many still make a direct living from the sea. In the evening of a normal July day in 2020, the Wakashio ran aground on the reef near where Nalvik lives. So the, the Wakashio, it's the reef. I was having a barbecue in my house, me and my friends, and suddenly we did notice there's something which is not in the right place. I mean, there was a lot of light, I tell my friend, there must be something wrong. But at first, I did not know it was a boat. But soon afterward, you know now, with Facebook, everything, we get pictures that there's a boat on the reef. So I went high on the house, and when I look at it, when I look at that light, I think this is a monster. At the scene of the oil spill, fishermen are prohibited from going out to fish. Now they sit and wait, uncertain about how long the cleanup will take. The government announced there would be a compensation program, but as news reported at the time, it would only benefit those with fishing licenses. The government has just issued an indefinite ban on all water-related activities along much of the East Coast. And so the fishermen, the boat skippers, the fishmongers and tour operators, big and small, remain like the empty fishing boats you see behind me. If you're working on the island, a great island, it's one big coral island which is about 27 hectares. For the last two months, it was black with oil. It was a red contaminated. Now I understand the colors. Red was highly contaminated. A few days after this protest, Bruno requested permission to demonstrate in front of the Prime Minister's house. The very next day, he is arrested for issuing a check that had bounced two months prior. This was despite him having already settled the amount. Some in the press reported this is evidence of harassment. Big brands, big deals, small prices at Hi-Fi Cope. Get this Hisense 65-inch UHD Smart TV for $12,499. Save $1,000. Or this Samsung 15kg top loader washer for $8,799. Save $700. Or this Packard Bell Celeron laptop for $4,999. Save $500. Price is valid until 17 July. T's and C's apply. Don't regret it and buy it on credit at Hi-Fi Corp. Nifanele kui naga impilo ya amga nye mdeni Eti nzabente HIV ne COVID-19 Nipila ni HIV futi ni chovi ile kutifigela ku COVID-19 Chova nao utipepise wena kanyi nye mdeni wangu Lomlayeto wema sonfo ni uletelwa litikule tempilo Liba mbisene na necha na mslapsa ngene Ene, ene, ene
It has just gone 8 o'clock Central African time. Good evening and welcome to the News Bulletin at 8, brought to you by Swatin TV. My name is Sanabu Ngoan, alongside Makabi Songambule. Thank you so much indeed for choosing to stay with us. We're coming to you live from our hospital here studios in Babana. Let's take a look at our top stories. Members of Parliament rejected a report from the Minister of Health on drug shortage in public clinics and hospitals. The Ministry of Public Works and Transport has launched the motor vehicle license disc collection and distribution through Eswatin Post and Telecommunications. And the government of Eswatin has disbursed over 40 million Malangeni under the 45 million SMEs revolving fund. In other news in detail, members of parliament rejected a report from the Minister for Health on drug shortage in public clinics and hospitals in the country. Members of parliament in the House of Assembly were not satisfied with the answers the minister presented before the House. I was supposed to detail the reasons behind the shortage of drugs in public hospitals and clinics was rejected in parliament. The Minister for Health, Liz Ngosi, narrated issues of budget. Minister Ngosi, in her report, highlighted that the issues of theft is still a challenge as some of those suspected to have a hand in the disappearance of drugs go unpunished. I budget is to go health. I want to go in cool. We calling over 10 percent. We budget to leave. I want 2.4 billion. Go check it, Mr. Speaker. I need to. But let me show you a call. I was by Bugi Lele budget. But if I Bugi was I budget less specific. I'm saying I only let 694 million. In our 740,000, we do lo. Guale 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 malikon. Leo budget Leo, Mr. Speaker. In 29% budget young care health. Members of Parliament stated that the report doesn't answer the questions at hand. They felt as though the minister's report was too academic. They also raised the concern of a Palala fund issue. Some members of Parliament highlighted of Parliament highlighted that there is a great need for the Ministry of ICT to intervene. <laughs> A Sibe my lecture, Bessie I decoder, Sessia unpack so that we come up with an academic mark, Sessia Nigeta Minister. Gansi, be specific. Minister, let bring the culprits here, bring the anti corruption here, bring everyone here. I wash at least the moon, and every bow be bonke. Sibins and as it's happy, you are a bungai. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This is not on. Then who will ever help us? Let me tell meaning. Minister, take a challenge. Mama, setting because I was medical aid. to Minister, as a seat, Mr. Speaker. Looking blue, and you would say, Zama, we say Benda, I got Kulumigle report by phones. I would send a tongue at our woodsy. I could set the Speaker. Laban, who Lama suppliers, la kona anga supply bal buga ndo na masela la lama suppliers kwe guti ba kona supplier le means bas ba ikete le without having to be paid in government. Minister for Health Elizingozi, when responding, stated that the ministry is still working hard in eliminating the existing issues that exist within the Ministry of Health. Asige milo kichi majongo bas kichi maku COVID. Mane lo kichi malo lo kunengle skwenda manje Agu sabo nagali ez machi Alo kusi mneng lo msebe ndi jomba nbo Na kusi lesi kutula lenge mova Na lesi za magu kulungi sagma systems Agu bi ez visible ez lo kuwa COVID Se atubega se asebenda Se nga yenda Mr. Speaker I e, e summary yema action points Kusi lo kun jomba lo kunye sambe Si gusho la indele nusi lo kuskwenda nindo Se nga yenda i e summary Si ibu yi se la pendle ni Mr. Speaker For iswati ni tivi nyusondom lange Nutmbongo atube Parliament. 
The Ministry of Public Works and Transport has launched the motor vehicle license disc collection and distribution through the Swarton Post and Telecommunications. Now, speaking during the launch at Isbana Hotel at Zuluini, the Minister of Finance, Noel Riegenberg, says that this initiative will enable ease of doing business in the country and has done to decentralize government services. The Minister represented the Minister for Public Works and Transport, Shiv Lanthas and Duandu, during the launch. Swarton TV's Nelson Langamandla has more on that story. Collaboration between the Ministries of Public Works and Transport, Information, Communications and Technology and different stakeholders has led to the launch of the motor vehicle license disc collection and distribution through Eswatini Post and Telecommunications. The initiative has been launched by the Minister of Public Works and Transport's Chief Ndalutla Zandwandwe at Sibani Hotel at Ezulwini. The minister was represented by the Minister of Finance, Nell Rickenback. This partnership with EPTC will enable motorists to collect their license discs from their nominated post office uh, or have their discs delivered at a, a stipulated address by EPTC's Putwuma uh, Courier Services. Let us all welcome EPTC to the government mobile platform, star 468, Hash, uh, the Ministry's Road Transportation Directorate, in collaboration with the Ministry of ICT, e-government team, Royal Science and Technology Park, and the Ministry of Finance, the Treasury Department, has successfully completed testing and link acti activating EPDCs uh, to perform this key role in the renewal of motor vehicle licensing disc. The, uh, the motorists in urban areas have an abundance of choice in selecting the best service um, motorists residing in rural areas will now have access to the motor vehicle licensing renewal service at the nearest post office. The turnaround time for the collection of the motor vehicle license disc at the post office is 24 hours on completion of the mobile platform transaction and the receipt of the confirmation text message. This project speaks to the 2020 post-COVID-19 economic recovery plan, which states that government will improve the business environment to ensure ease of doing business and decentralized services. For Swatini TV News, Nelson Langamanda with Mbongwa Dube, Zulwini. The government of the Kingdom of Eswatini has dispersed over 40 million Malangani under the 45 million SMEs revolving fund. Now, according to the SME director from the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Trade, Mlule Glamini, he says entrepreneurs have been able to create job opportunities for Maswati through this fund. Following the challenges that were brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic in small and medium businesses in Eswatini, the government of Eswatini established the 45 million Malangini SME revolving fund with the aim of boosting affected businesses. The SME director in the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Trade, Mlule Gizamini, says over 40 million Malangini has been distributed among SMEs. The number of the actual about 43 million, so certainly we were out of less quama and the mass sectors that benefit the lapo. On the about transport, now manufacturing, the mass restaurants, the opens of bugger now, opens of football mobile money. So we are coming to look at the city to get cool as a relief. The opens of football is now going to sit up. By a corner, the opens of a pata, the back, the repayment, the abo, and the logo gas to cut that gas to go to this. Logo to the abona logo to talk to bigger. Is it the labanya football is going to be a squamacy revolving fund. In Mr. Bendigale Pumile, out of Lom 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 Sebendilona, the Kanzaguzi are about two thousand who ban for the back on the Guzzi Bakashege out of the initiative in a lay in the Gilele scheme. So it's in the Sengasho Loguzi, the Atemba Loguzi, the Maswata Tau Kubera, and the applications that all connect benefit out of the scheme. Bongo Bosoma business about benefit, the Gulesquamasi, Atemba Lugus Patau Kubera, Basba, Bissan Guzzi, Bakubega, Bapatale, the repayment Yabo. Going forward, business 
Lamine also highlighted that Maswat are able to repay this fund and he also stated that entrepreneurs have been able to utilize this fund as they are creating job opportunities in the process. The government of Eswatini launched the Economic Recovery Plan post-COVID-19, which is an effort to grow the economy. One of the key areas identified to boost the economy are the small, micro and medium enterprises. The establishment of the fund is in line with boosting and improving the economy of the country. The Kingdom of Eswatini, in partnership with the government of Japan, is exploring more ways to assist the Kingdom of Eswatini in fulfilling the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In 2011, the government of the Kingdom of Eswatini signed a technical cooperation with the government of Japan to take significant steps towards achieving some of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In the previous year, the government of Eswatini received over 145 million Malangini from the government of Japan, which has been utilized in the building of four schools, purchasing 64 tractors, among other projects. The acting principal secretary in the Ministry of Economic Planning, Nelson Masilela, say some of the effects of climate change is the shortage of water in the rural areas. This is one of the challenges yet to be addressed under this partnership. So we are asking our assistance to, to the Japanese government, uh, especially to achieve and escalate our, our response to the SDGs as a country. The councillor for the Japan Embassy in Eswatini, Mary Hidaga, says the government of Japan is working around the clock to sign an extension note concerning Eswatini receiving food assistance through the World Food Programme. This is a very good timing to talk to each other between Japan and gov Japanese government and your government to discuss precisely and in person to how we can do together um, how we can, what we can do for your country's development. According to the National Development Plan, which will be effective for the next five years, the government of Eswatini will create 4,000 job opportunities. For Eswatini TV News, I'm Tandugutlem Zulim with Vumingo Sintinisam Babane. If your pocket is already stretched due to rising cost of living, brace yourself to dig deeper. Now, this is because the price of fuel is expected to hike from Friday. The Ministry of Public's, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Energy, rather, says the fuel price will increase by two malangi thirty cents per litre from Friday. Some motor vehicle owners were still coming to terms with the recent fuel hike of two malangi three cents, which came into effect about two weeks ago. While in this process and still trying to adjust their budget, it looks like they will have to make further financial adjustments as another fuel hike will kick in this week. Ministry of Natural Resources and Energy Principal Secretary Dokas Lamini has issued a statement about a fuel price hike of 2 Malangini 30 cents as of Friday. Lamini says this has been caused by the weakening Lilangini when compared to the American dollar. Lamini says the price of a barrel of oil has gone up from $110 in May to $118 in June. Lamini also says also contributing to the price hike is the war between Russia and Ukraine. The price hike will mean the price of petrol will go up to 23 malangini 85 cents per liter. Diesel will now cost 24 malangini 40 cents per liter. Users of paraffin will not be spared as the cost of this fuel will go up to 19 malangini 15 cents per liter. This fuel price hike comes at a time when public sector associations are still in talks with government about a cost of living adjustment. For Swatini TV News, Temgosima Vimbela with Vuminko Sinzinisa Babani. The Ministry of Home Affairs has started processing late registration certificates following a backlog since March this year after experiencing technical programs. Now, this has been said by the Communications Office, Amland, with Lamini. 
The Ministry of Home Affairs has said it has processed 2,581 certificates, which include birth, marriage and death certificates. This has been said by the communications office of Mlanvodlamini, who states that 74 certificates that were submitted for alterations have also been processed. The communications officer says the challenges were caused mainly by network problems. He promises that the ministry is working tirelessly to ensure that the public does not wait long to get their certificates. He further says the ministry has started sending the certificates to the places where Emma Swati registered. The ministry has committed to ensuring that the public gets certificates on time. For Eswatini TV News, Nelson Langamanda with Mbongwa Dube Zulwini. The rehearsals for the Correctional Service Day have commenced. According to the Communications Officer for His Majesty's Correctional Services, Kukulia Tulamini, she says the Correctional Day is an opportunity for them to recognize and showcase work done by the service to refuse re-offending to ensure the safety of communities. Rehearsals for His Majesty's Correctional Service are underway as the actual Correctional Day is expected to be held on the 15th of July 2022. For the past two years, the event was suspended due to COVID-19 pandemic. His Majesty's Correctional Service Public Relations Officer Kukuletu Lamini says this day allows them to showcase their different activities that they do. <laughs> Uh, you know, the correctional services day, like that, we will a correctional staff college. We uh, let's learn, you know, let's see how we enter the vigilant day. We must have till show me the session. We long fifteen. Eh, but we go away. We book a local room. We learn about. We learn how to sing. We correctional services. We can use a corner. We miss a bendy eight full. We see in day. We go to see Boba. We send a. We go to the Suga. We speak up. Kela Emaswati Goguti, Amani Asitinelis, Katsi, Aset, Atongena, Laguna, B. Bessesia, Putute, Lagani, and Macos. Set out Kela Goguti in Jemaket, Exuelang and Simbias Potlong, Atabe Avulu, Goguti, Labolabanga, Labanel Pubaloti, Sebangeta, Bavele, Bakale, Befig. Lamini says their majesties will bless the event with their presence. She urged Emaswati to keep time. She further emphasized that the COVID-19 regulations will be observed as the COVID-19 pandemic is not yet over. For Iswati Nitivi News on Domlangi Nudinbongwa Matapa. Coming in from the High Court, a uh, witness has told the court that Ntombikai Sam Tim Kulu told him that Swami Somakeba Lamini once placed a hot iron in her face. The witness also told the court that the deceased told him that Lamini physically abused her. Now, Lamini is accused of killing him, Tim Kulu, who was his girlfriend at Nkoma's bottle store in Pixpick in 2017. A Crown witness in the Somiso Makeba Lamini murder trial has told the court that Ndombigai Semtim Kulu sometimes told him about the physical abuse she suffered under the hands of the accused. The witness told the court that Mtim Kulu once came to work with a burn wound on the face, which she said resulted from Lamini placing a hot iron on her face. The witness told the court that Mtim Kulu once came to work with a swollen eye and attributed the same to Lamini. The witness further told the court that Mtim Kulu told him that Lamini would sometimes lock her in the house so that she does not leave for work. The witness narrated to the court that he asked Lamini about this and he admitted to it and further made an undertaking not to repeat same. Defense lawyer Nunga Dwendlang Amanda submitted to the court that the accused denied being physical with the deceased. Dwendlang Amanda told the court that her instructions were that the witness quoted the deceased despite being her employer. She also told the court that 
Her further instructions were that the deceased did not want to engage in a love relationship with the witness to the extent that she even resigned. The witness denied this. Nlangamandla put it to the witness that he hated the accused because he was jealous of his relationship with the deceased and that was why he was lying about him. The witness denied ever quoting the deceased while in the issue of hating the accused. He said there was nothing to like about him as they were not in a relationship. The matter has been postponed to the 20th of September where more witnesses will testify. Lamini has pleaded not guilty to murder but guilty to culpable homicide. For Swatini TV News, Tim Gosima Vimbela with Vumiko Sinzinisa, High Court. Vusi Finney's Lamini's murder trial resumed in the High Court on Wednesday. Now, Lamini is accused of raping and killing eight women between 2008 and 2009. The Crown has led uh, forensic expert to Captain Swasti Khuri, who testified about the DNA evidence linking Lamini to the case. Vusi Finney's Lamini was arrested and charged for the alleged rape and murder of eight women. This happened around the Langeni, Somjalose, Lozita, and along the Lusushwana River between 2008 and 2009. On Wednesday, the Crown led a forensic expert from South Africa, Captain Swasti Kuri. Kuri gave her testimony virtually. Kuri told the court that she received three case files for Lamini's case. She also told the court that one of the case files did not have any presumable semen that could be detected and therefore no DNA analysis was carried out. Kuri further told the court that there was DNA profile obtained from a jacket which matched the DNA profile of Lamini. The expert witness submitted that this match had no incriminating value. Kuri submitted that DNA results of a vaginal swab matched that of Lamini. The Crown has already paraded about 14 witnesses in the matter and the court has also conducted an inspection in loco. In this matter, the Crown is represented by Principal Crown Counsel Matebo Ngomalu, while Mzwandile Lamini is standing in for the accused. The matter is before Judge Mzwandile Fagutse. For Swatini TV News, Tim Gosima Vimbela with Vumiko Sinzinisa, High Court. Right now, let's take a look at our financial indexes and see how our markets perform today in our financial report. Standard Bank. It can be. Welcome back. You're still with the news bulletin at 8 here at Swatin TV. Right now, we shall take a look at news making headlines in the world of sports. We start at home. The, the nation's pride, Slango Samnegati, collected maximum points today when they beat, uh, uh, see, when they beat Mauritius three goals to nil in the Kosafa Cup Group B at a, a game that was played at Kings Wellington Stadium in Durban. Slango Samnegati lined up against Mauritius in their opening fixture of the 22 Kosafa Cup. There was no delay from the local boys as they showed early signs of strength when in less than 15 minutes Lindom Konda, the captain of the team, obtained a score through a penalty. In the second half, the boys continued where they had left off when Fanel Odamamba netted the second before informed Sabiro Skarinziniza concluded the party of the day, something that coach Dominic Kunene was happy about. Which I'm missing a cool fabric, more especially go 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 the more offensive drills. They were so fun to see. So my boy, the boy, one touch is going to go play. Can learn in the thing. I'm more fun. So then he technically gave up two touches and two different foot drills. He had to bone a game. The organization he gave the back in the communication. The good thing he full pace eliminate you. But but I mean, but for some jam malay, you bring no longer go. And the good thing I get no good to. I'm going to go to play the poly. Now the match on the Monday night, I'm going to go to play the link and I'm going to lose. Yeah, security said to be there, but it's about that. This is to look cool. We're going to be scared. It's a good show. Now we must search him. We're going to see security. We're going to look cool. From the Bobo coach be to Bazami, we're going to see what's happening. We're going to see no boys. We can make it. Sitlangu's next encounter will be against Malawi on Friday from 2 p.m. For Swatin TV Sports, Fabi Sumsana in the Republic of South Africa, in Durban. 
Well, that brings us to the conclusion of our news bulletin and eight at Swatton TV. But before we go, here's a quick reminder of our top stories tonight. Members of Parliament rejected a report from the Minister of Health on drug shortage in public clinics and hospitals. The Ministry of Public Works and Transport has launched the motor vehicle license disc collection and distribution through Eswatini Post and Telecommunications. And the government of Eswatini has dispersed over 40 million Malangeni under the 45 million SMEs revolving fund. Beautiful Kingdom of Swatin, we've reached the home stretch of our news bulletin at 8 at Swatin TV. Thank you so much for indeed for choosing to stay with us. We shall now cross over to the Weather Center for a detailed weather report from us and the rest of the crew here at Swatin TV. For now, it's good night and God bless. At Spa, we've checked every price, counted every coin, and cut every cost to bring you Spa Super Saver Week. Get even more for your money, like 1kg Iwisa Instant Breakfast Porridge for just $17.99 and Glen Tagless Tea Bags 100s also only $17.99. It's Super Saver Week at Spa, 4 to 10 July only. Don't miss out. Exclusive to Spa Rewards customers. Because because Kusha Wempilo, Food for Life. An agricultural program that shows how a farmer brings food to the nation. for agriculture and farming development on Eswatini TV with the farm boy Samgelo Vilaradi SMV. Food for life. Mabonagutawa, Siabonga Kuno, a number of Kona Mabonagutawa, Maspalela, a Selene, 
Loga fisa se kulu mesa. Nada na mbuto kona nje. E, Mwaspali laba kona bafundi isi. Bato kona kuti. Bapkate ulo mbuto wa kolonaya. Ekele mbuge ni hamba laba fundi isi. Nenga nga bufuti evi gine pelile. E, hamba na teotela. S. La menezo wala pa. Emone nebanjila. International Admission Center. Mwemza laga hamba yetu wana. Hamba ina apostol. E, pembe. E, Suwala pa kumali inza. E, Dominion of Christ. E, ministries. Eh, <laughs> Sibuye Ethereum is it all Kulumal in Java Muisa and Toga Naganga, especially yeah. in our days. Uh, you uh. know, there is a lot of we never look in the bag. We need which is Buga in Pan, which it is. It's a Siabonga, Bazalan, which in the Hostela and Lomzala, a Sito Kuluma, Malaysia, or Sisin, Lubito, Siabonga, and the Boss Ame. Amen. Eh, First Corinthians chapter four, verse number one. Okay. Uti lompali bando abasati. Yeah. We uti siba party. Let him fish lagalo. Yeah. O kasi le uti siba party let him fish lagalo. Yeah. Lenguru la na kanz food. Basic kuzi la glo verse number two. Eh, la ntabla kona verse so uti ngale so si zatu le so bando lava ba party let him fish lagalo abatola gala betsembegile. Not so strong as and then faithful and we are born Minister of Christ, when an attitude here was seven, an attitude here was called an attitude here was ten better, not so strong as cards. Siya Boga, Buisa, Siya Boga, Kuyo, Ingegu, Yangosi, U, Terayona, Umlom Zala, Lasboko, a character, Yemunfu, Lo Shumela, Gonaluti, 